What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm back with another A to Z guide on how to win. And yep, you guessed it, we're starting at Salty Springs and we got the new Wukong skins. So we're just going to head straight in, see who we can take out, loot up real quick, wait for the next zone and start moving on. I'm just, like always, I'll just be going over how I approach situations, why I approach them that way, and which direction to move every time the circle breaks down. Alright, so here we go. We both land on the same house, as it is duos, we don't really want to get caught out, either by another duo team that are hanging together, or by two duo teams that are fighting and we get caught in the middle of them. So right here we just move up, mash up the same house, get our loot, as we're checking there's not really many chests in here, so we're hoping to pick up just a little bit off the ground. As you can see, I'm not really having much luck as it is right now. I'm able to get a pistol. Just move on from there. Check the garage real quick. Nothing in here, so we just move up to the next house. Now what you want to do is you want to try and loot as quick as possible. Especially knowing that there is other players in the vicinity. You want to move up as quick as you can. Now when we landed, we actually did notice that there was another team here, but as of yet we haven't had any gunfights, so I'm pretty sure it's just the two of them. Now most of the time you'll find as well, if there's just two teams, the other team will most likely engage with you, but there is also a good chance that they'll just loot up and run as quick as they can. It just depends on the type of player that they are. They could be looking for the fight or they could be looking to avoid it. So as you can see here, it doesn't look like they've looted too much. We're able to just come in, loot up all the houses with these. At this point we're not too stressed on sticking together, but we do run by each other as we're moving around. That way if we do happen to engage, we're right there, on the side, able to help. As you can see here, I'm just dropping the SMG and the pistol, just picking up the shotgun, bandages, medkit, and an AR, of course. Grabbing those ammo boxes where I can. From here, we're... I would loot each house. We move on to the final house down here with the red bricks. Come in, trap. Let's whack that up there in case that other team is hanging around still, but it looks like they just moved on with no worries at all really. They just they didn't want to loot up, they didn't want to contest, they just wanted out of there. Here we decide to just destroy the ramps in the house and leave most of the house holes so that it doesn't look looted as I've got the trap on the front door there. So we're able to just block that up. I was, was meant to block it up with brick but I just blocked it up with wood. So it does look a bit sketchy but if you're going to lay traps you sort of want to leave the house looking nice. Nice and unlooted so that people do run in. If they're just trying to hide from someone, they run in and run through the house. So here the zone's coming in. So our next move 
is just to look around and listen out for shots and as you can hear there there was a sniper shot coming from the north northwest so we're just moving around southwest to come for this supply drop that's just come down it's always good to go for supply drops because a lot of the time there's not people right there watching them a lot of the time people just come across them or they're running from a distance to get to them whereas if you're right near them just go and grab it you know just go ahead and grab it there's no problem there no point waiting around I just hear one. As you can see, one of them jumps up on the tires. I'm able to take him out with ease. I did miss a lot of shots there. And my double pump wasn't really working, so I decided to pick up a green tactical. Now he was eliminated straight away, so we're not worried about his mate coming after us. I dropped my blue tactical for trout there and I just continue on with the double pump Ahead of us here, you can see that there's two people. Now I did pre-fire a little early, which cost me some of my shield. So I'll take a hit of damage. Right here I reload my sniper. Really I should have just been fighting. So an easy knock there and then an easy kill on the second one or it already burst down. Great combo play, a lot of loot there for us to get. My friend Trout's a really big fan of the scoped ARs now since they've been buffed. I still prefer the normal ones. And Sniper's Burst is probably my favourite weapon at this time, the Blue Burst. That weapon's just so accurate and it's pretty OP if you get good with them, you know. It's got such good range on it and the accuracy's killer. Alright, so here we're just moving around on the outskirts of Salty Springs sort of just looking around everywhere trying to locate people as you notice there hasn't really been many people to engage so we're just kicking around getting up some materials not really too worried at this point about anything I just changed my pyramid to a ramp just in case I need to build quickly later on now we're guessing the people that we just killed have been all through here and looted the joint so we're just gonna make a quick break for the zone try and get ourselves into a good position now the strategy we're using this game is we're sort of sticking to the edge so we're sticking to the edge of the border not quite storm runners but we're just trying to stick to the closest end of the border that way we can catch people like this we're into the zone as you can see there, that guy was creeping along slowly, so he's a really easy target, burst him down really fast. And the second guy didn't really know what happened, his mate died so quick, he was sort of panicked. And as you can see there, there's a blue burst. 
But this round I actually don't pick the blue burst. I just stack the med kits, take the ammo, take the wood. I actually left the other bit of ammo there for my mate because I'm holding 330 so I don't really need any more than that. And right here I can see a base on the hill. Looks like it's taken a little bit of damage. So I'm feeling like that they've moved from there. If not, they're hiding and med kitting up. So we'll just move into retail row here. I tried to move up into the building but failed and fell down both the holes. So right here I just build back up, jump in quite easily, just build a little kit base there. I did leave the west side open, that way my friend can get a good view out there. I'm able to look around everywhere quite easily. Just keep looking around, checking out the joint. I decided to move up a little bit, just to stay in the zone there. Actually build up into this house. I don't actually see too many people around us. So we're sort of safe here. Still just checking. Not getting lazy, you know. We always want to just be checking. Making sure no one's around, sneaking up on us. Now I use those ceilings just to build me onto the other roof. That way I've kept the high ground. And I've got a good advantage over people. Now I could hear the chest back here, so i just break into that real quick. Hoping for the best, but I just get an SMG, some bandages. And from here we just move on. Moving out of retail row now, and like I said before, we're just trying to stick to the skinny end of the zone. It's always the best way. You normally see a lot of people coming in and a lot of them are like rushing because they're in the thick side of the zone. So they've got to rush because the zone's moving really quick. They could even get caught in it and if you catch them like that, it's basically easy kills. Because anyone caught in the zone is a real easy kill. They're, all, they're automatically in panic mode if they take damage because they know every second their damage is getting taken down or their health is getting taken down. So if you can catch them, burst them, it's real easy kills. Just move along the bottom of the factories here. Keep an eye on them because it normally is a player hotspot. Those little factories there, I've been in many fights and seen many people come out of there. Now right here we just build up to this house. Again we've got the high ground, we're able to get a good view on everything. We're not quite in the zone yet, but because we're on the skinny end, we've got plenty of time to make a decision on where we want to go to. Now we actually move up, and we notice that the front of this mountain is inside the zone. So what we do is we just move up on the edge of it here. And I build up so that I'm out of the zone. That way the start of where I'm building is not inside the zone. So people can't just run up it freely. We'll have to hear them build first. As you can see in the middle there near Dusty, 
There's a big base getting built up. To my left, lucky enough to have a chest spawn right there. Minigun and dance bomb. Not really interested in either of them at this time. So what I do here is I just fab up a quick base. Just check the mountains. Make sure no one's got the height on us. Just keep looking down on the edge of the storm. Making sure nobody's hiding. These guys are keen. They're starting to build up their base big. Now I actually hear people building up behind me. I get pushed off by the tree. My friend Trout is actually able to knock one out. The other one follows me down. I'm able to hit him 173 to the back of the head. And again for 80 odd. Which makes for a real quick takedown. Now right here is a bit risky, I just sat still taking my potions. I decided to take the purple tack and the mini shields. I do like the purple tack as I've said before. Don't really need to explain that again, it's a great shotgun to have. It looks like we got some master builders going on in the middle there. We decided to get down and go around and get up on the hill above them. As long as we can get up on this hill, we're going to have a direct view down into their base. We both have snipers, ARs, etc. We're going to be able to get easy kills on them from above. They're not going to be able to hide too easily. Again, I just build up from outside the zone, so when it when the zone comes in, they're not actually going to be able to run up my ramp behind me. Some of that's been camping at the back of the map here. It's an easy takedown. There's another one with a shotgun over by the trees. We're able to burst him down real quick. Two easy kills. Plenty of loot. Gold Sniper, Chug Jug. Some more med kits. Now I just run over to check the other edge. Now I proceed to build up to on top of the mountain. That way I'll be able to get a great view above that big base. First my friend is called out and he says there's a shield pot over here. So I just come back, use the shield pot, get myself to full. That way I can save the chug jug for a better time if I need it. But right here you can see there's four people left including both of us. So it's either a team of two or two solos and we're a team of two here so Straight up we're feeling like we've got the advantage, we've got the higher ground. There's not really much that they can do to us, especially from this position. And Trout's able to spot them in the big base. So it's us versus them. We're above them. Able to land a good shot on him there. Trout actually just lays down minigun fire on their base. Slowly turn the strips off it. I just proceed to try and get snipes. They're busy trying to build back up inside their base. Just lay down some gunfire. Trout actually knocks one down. The zone's on its way in now. 
forced to get the revive. The zone's coming in, it's closing in pretty fast on them because they are at the thick end of it. So all we do is we just keep our eyes on them. As the zone closes in, they're forced out of their base. Just to be able to get the revive. So if you this ball, we just have one shot. And then the next one, we just keep the fire on him. We've got one eliminated. Next one comes through. Just spraying fire, easy elimination. And that's it for the video today, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. Smash that like and subscribe button for daily content. And until next time, peace out.